this video we are going to see how to copy the meshes along a path or a curve in Maya. We are going to use mesh networks and let's see how we can do it. So for that I am going to create a curve. So I am going to go to curves and surfaces and create a NURBS circle which is also a curve. So now I am going to scale this curve a little bit. So we don't need a grid but we will keep the grid for now. I am going to put a cube inside the scene. So after creating the cube, I'm going to scale it a little bit, like that. Now we're going to create the mesh network. For that, you have to go to mesh, which is over here. So under mesh, if there is mesh is not visible, you can like change it to FX and see whether it's there or not. So once you get to the mesh network, you just have to select the cube and hit the mesh button over here, which will create a mesh network like this so once you created a mesh network it will come to the attribute editor you can see a lot of mesh repro mesh mesh shape and we need the mesh network which is right here with a lot of nodes that you can play with in this we are going to copy along a curve or a path so we are going to use the curve node i'm going to click this i mean left click this and click the add curve node so which will add a curve node to this once you add a curve node inside this mesh one curve under attribute editor it's just asking to input a curve but currently it's not connected so we're going to put in a curve which we created right here so i'll get to the mesh and go to the curve but this time we're going to drag and drop the curve into this so i open the outline right here this is where we have our curve so we're going to drag and drop in this so this time i'm not going to use the left click because when you click the left click mouse button it will always go to the attribute editor and show its properties so we have to be in mesh and drag and drop it so i'm going to use the middle mouse button and drag and the curve and drop it inside these input curves once you do that you can see something like it just aligned it to the curve but it's not quite correct so before that i'm going to increase the step to point one to one which is the full curve and you can see that one full step is the entire circumference of a circle so we'll get to the mass distribute and you can see that there's a distribution type i'm going to use the paint effects which will perfectly align them with 100 percent accuracy so we can now increase the number of points and keep it so it will look much better or you can decrease the points you can always keep the mesh node with the object itself or you can like delete the mesh node once you're done modeling to save some crashes and uh, removing a lot of load from your scene so once you're done modeling you just have to select the object or you can like delete the entire type history and non-deformer history and once you're done with it you can now delete the mesh network it will stay the same you can also delete the curve so this is how you can like use the mesh network to copy along a curve so i hope you like this video give a thumbs up like share and subscribe i will see you in another video thank you